Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fire World? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on a legend and two future Hall of Fames in this fight game. We have the legendary Floyd Money Mayweather, arguably the greatest fighter of all time, the five division world champion, the man that helped revolutionize the game and took it out of the promoter's hands and put it into the fighter's hands. We all know who Money May is. Then we have Adrian the Problem Brown, the four division world champion. When he was in the game, he was on his shit, one of the hottest fighters in the game to help transcend the game as well. And then we have that killer, that gorilla, right here, Javante Tank Davis, straight out of Baltimore, baby. We know Tank is the three division world champion, and Tank is the hottest young, undefeated star in the business. But Tank let Floyd know, and he let um, fucking Brown know. Y'all need to chill y'all ass out, bro. Y'all need to chill y'all ass out. For once, he told AB, quit using that mental health shit. Get your ass in the ring and fight. Quit being a bitch. Then he told Floyd, quit speaking for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Quit speaking for me. Because these same motherfuckers I heard talking about, oh, Tank don't want to do this. He don't want to do that. And then, you know, Floyd said this. Floyd said that. It's about what Tank says, bro. It's about what this young killer right here says, bro. And he told y'all he calling the shots. Until I see a fucking press conference with Lena L.B. and Floyd up there, Javante Tank Davis is calling his shots and who he want to fight next. And it looked like he's going out to Ryan Garcia, Tiafimo Lopez, or Michelle Rivera, which are three good fights that you can see Tank in to continue to grow his brand. Now, when it comes to Floyd Mayweather, we all know what Floyd did in the game, and I said it earlier, bro. Now, we know Tank was signed to Floyd, you know, for the, the entire of his career to this point. People continue to just make it as trying to blame Tank and blast Tank because of some of the things Floyd's saying, and it's still going on right now today. All right? Now, we don't know who Tank next opponent going to be. We don't know if Tank is still with, with, with TMT or not. People keep saying, well, he resigned, he resigned. Until I see Floyd Mayweather and Lena LB up, up, up at a podium talking for Javante Tank Davis, then to Monty Brown, I don't know where Tank is. I can see GTD promotion out there, or I can see a joint promotion like Devin Haney doing with certain people. We don't know. But Tank say he called him the shots, and he's um, in control of his career, you know what I'm saying, up to this point now. You feel me? So let's just let y'all know y'all got to stop listening to Floyd Mayweather because Floyd, he like to control shit. When it comes to Adrian Bronner, right, everybody, oh, Tank, you know, he should never um, delete the tweet. He should have just stood on his ground. He sh well, he said what he said, bro. Period. He said what he said. You know what I'm saying? He said what he said about mental health issue. Not saying he ain't compassionate towards people who got it, but we got to stop just screaming that shit every time we fuck up and, and things ain't going our way. You know what I mean? And if Tank feel like Ryan Garcia pulled it off, he feel like Adrian Brown pulled it off, and everybody else that's talking about it, right, he got the right to speak his mind. He got the right to speak his mind. You know? Now, we know A.B. is headed out of the game. We know this for a fact. A.B. is on his way out of the game. Not saying he's done right now, he's going to retire, but, but for his career, you know, being a four-division world champion, being in your 30s and things of that nature, right? We know that he almost he's, he's, he's almost out of the game, bro. And that's something we got to be real about. But when Tank come out and say these things that he's saying, it ain't that the man trying to be harsh towards A.B. or nothing like that, right? It's just he's saying... Go out there and fight through that shit, right? This is what we do. We're fighters. We are fighters. So we have to fight through this shit, bro. We can't sit back and use that for an excuse for everything we do, looking for self, I mean, looking for pity, and then we got self-pity towards ourselves, and it's stopping us from getting to where we need to go. It's stopping us from getting to where we need to go, you know? Now, we all know AB helped bring Tank to Floyd Money Mayweather. We all know the story behind it, the Gamboa spawn, where Tank got in there, two Gamboas up and spawn, eventually beat his ass in a real fight as well. But we all know how Tank got there, right? We all know Floyd helped um, guide Tank career to where he's at right now, making Tank a three-division world champion, one uh, arguably the youngest, hottest star in the game, but eventually going to be arguably the biggest star in the game if he continues going down the path he's going down, continue to win and face the top competition. But when um, Tank told y'all that, you know, he's tired of people saying this and saying that, and he's ready to take his career in his own hands, and that, you know, he's walking away from Floyd Money Mayweather 10. Well, not even walking away. He, he, he finished up his contract, and he's going to do something different with his career because he want to go in a different direction. Give him his credit, and it's just due for being a man. 
right? Everybody wanted to praise him. Oh, we give him the, man, we respect Tank. You know, he's moving on with his career. He's doing this, he's doing that. Tank ain't even signed another fight yet. And the same people that said they respect and give him his credit and his just due is shitting on him because of what Floyd Mayweather said or what Leonard Ellaby said. But they're not going to take Tank for his word. And one, one second you're going to take him for his word the next minute because Floyd said something. Now, oh, well, Tank got to be lying. How the fuck is he lying? You haven't even seen who he fight next or who going to be representing him at the podium. You can't call that man a liar if you, you haven't seen it. You know what I mean? So we just have to wait and see who his promotions go. I mean, who his promoter gonna be, if he have a promoter, or if he just rocking out with with Al Heyman and he his own promoter with GCD Promotions. You feel me? Flat out. Then when it come to AB, you know a lot of people. Oh man, how can Tank say that about Adrian Bronner? How can Tank Tank don't owe AB nothing, man? He don't owe them nothing, right? You respect him as a big brother. You want to see him do big things, but listen, man. I had the fight to get to where I'm at today. You know, just because you took me to a fucking interview, um, you weren't speaking for me, you weren't fighting for me, right? I got the job done myself. Myself. You know? I, res I respect the push, I respect the love, but I had to go in there and fight them fighters. I had to go in there and press Floyd Mayweather. I have to go in there and show the people that I am who I am, and I'm going to be who I'm going to be. And I'm going to be a bad motherfucker in the future Hall of Famer when my career is said and done. I got to take punches to the face. You don't feel the punches that hit me in the face. Of course, you a fighter. But the punches that come towards my way, my body and my face, you don't feel that. You don't run these miles for me. You know what I'm saying? You're not sporting these sporting partners for me. Flat out, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? I owe you respect. I give you the respect. But other than that, I don't owe you nothing else, man. And I got the right to speak my mind on anything I want to speak my mind on. Just like you speak your mind on what you want to speak your mind on. So people got to let Tank grow up and be Tank. Tank is his own man now. He grew into a grown man. And he's doing his own thing. And I love everything Tank doing in that ring. I love what he's doing outside of the ring. Coming to his own, bro. Coming to his own. And a man can speak his mind just like everybody else. Period. And y'all can take it how y'all want to take it. But at the end of the day, uh, Floyd Mayweather... Don't control Javante Tank Davis. Tank control Tank Davis. Agent Bronner. Don't control Javante Tank Davis. Tank control um, Javante Tank Davis. You feel me? So when I'm looking at the situation and people trying to make it like Tank is up under the shadows of A.B. and Floyd Mayweather, cut it out. Cut it out. Tank coming into his own. He is own man. I respect him for standing up for himself, standing up to the big dog and Floyd, standing up to Adrian Bronner, letting their ass know. You know what I'm saying? I don't need neither one of you cats for real now. I don't need neither one of y'all. Period. You know what I mean? I don't know how A.B. feeling about Tank's superstar now, but we know Tank is that guy. We know A.B., he want to still be that guy, but he's not. Right? Floyd, he want to call all the shots, but Tank like, nah, that shit is over with. I'm calling my own shots now. I learned the business, and I got Al Heyman, the man that made you a billionaire. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't want these dudes to beef or nothing like that, but I just got to call it down the middle how I see it. Got to call it spade to spade. This just to the haters out there who just keep on every panel talking about Tank bowed down to Floyd and that Tank turned on Adrian Bronner. No, sir. You know what I'm saying? No, sir. Tank got the right to feel how he want to feel. He a grown-ass man. If y'all don't like it, don't watch him. Don't watch him. The kid going to continue to flourish. He going to continue to win. And at the end of the day, Monty Brown called him right here. Javante Tank Davis will be a Hall of Famer. Period. And I don't care who don't like it. And he going to knock Devin Haney ass out when that fight comes to fruition. Mark my words on it. Tank, keep doing you. Keep speaking your mind. Be truthful. If you want to tweet and delete, do it all the fuck you want to. That's your chest, boy, King. That's yours. Move how you want to move. And Monty Brown got your back. Until then, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving and nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate OG Money on Cash App. Try out the 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.